Hey, hey, viewers and vloggers. So today is Wednesday, January 11th, 2017. I keep forgetting. I think I said the right day. January 11th, 2017, Wednesday. Well, I said it again in case I didn't. He's sleeping on me, so I'm not gonna get anything done. Okay, so I put all of our blankets and clothes and towels in, well, most of it all in this pile. And now I'm gonna go through and just kind of see what we've worn in recently, like in the past year. And if we haven't, then it's going away. And this is actually like all four of us. Um, so, Claire, you're crazy. So, yeah, I know it seems messy, and I promise, usually this is all put away, but obviously we're doing a lifestyle change, and the, the military took all of our drawers and things like that yesterday, so we didn't have anywhere else to put it, just on this blanket. But now we're gonna minimize and downsize. Okay, so the movers actually just came to quote us on all of our stuff, and at first, we couldn't understand each other because he didn't speak any English, and I speak very, very little Korean. Um, so it, it was just not really easy at first, but I had this idea to take these little pink post-it notes that we have and just kind of stick them on everything that we wanted moved by them. This is what I mean by um, the pink sticky notes. And it helped significantly. He was like, oh, okay. And then when I was done sticking things, I was like, no more. And I made an X with my arms because I remember that when we first got here, they did that a lot to us. If we wanted to do something and it was closed that day, they would make this X so that we knew that um, it wasn't open that day. So I really love that about Korea is that they don't just completely ignore you when you don't know their language. They like do their best to work with you and they don't make you feel stupid or anything like that. They, they help like so that you both can understand each other. And, and sometimes like they'll even like help you with pronunciation if you're trying to figure out um, how to say something. So that's really, really nice. And they're such awesome people currently watching that minimalism documentary uh, about important things and I'm really loving it so far. It's keeping me busy while I organize all of our clothes. I've hit a roadblock everyone. This is stuff that we're donating. This is stuff we are keeping. In comparison, I don't think I'm making any progress at all. Definitely hit a minimalist roadblock and this is still stuff I have to go through and that's not even all of it it's almost safe to say that this minimalism journey is gonna have to come in two parts the first part is pretty much wiping out the majority and then the second part is going to be me doing um, I don't know I'm gonna figure out a way to figure out what kind of clothes really do actually spark joy and I really do actually use and stuff I'm just keeping because you just never know if you might want to wear it for a certain occasion. Ah! Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this, but probably gonna be it for tonight. So I hope you had a great day and yep, I'll start back up again tomorrow. Bye-bye.